With the Russian invasion in Ukraine intensifying concern is escalating here among Ukrainian Canadians with loved ones still in their war-torn homeland. Here's CTV's Michelle Bernaro now with how one woman believes British Columbians can help. Fires, destruction, loss. These war scenes sent to Vancouver's Michelle Petrusevich from her family in eastern Ukraine. First, I was, I was completely shell shocked. Just disbelief. This is, this is a nightmare. A nightmare that means her nephew cannot return home after his city and even the building where he lived came under attack. He was visiting family in another community when it happened, but even where they are, the war is close by. He said, I'm going to bed and I, um, I can hear the shells flying over my head and I hope I can get some sleep. Both of my nephews there of a conscription age, so they, they can't leave and I don't think they would want to leave. Petrusevich grew up under the oppression of the former USSR leaving as a teenager for Canada. I am lucky enough to be here where we have the freedom, where I have the freedom to speak to you about what's happening and not being afraid. And um, I grew up in a place where I couldn't do that. While her church in Vancouver is holding special prayer services, Petrusevich also wanted to raise awareness about the war, including at her children's schools. We reached out to the school administration and, and we asked them what can, what can we do and so both schools will, do a, will have a blue and yellow day where all the kids can wear it and they will um, talk about it. She'd like to see every school in BC host similar days. She says it's important for children to understand not just about the war, but about the freedoms that are at stake. She says her family in Ukraine is encouraged by the support of Canadians. Meanwhile, for herself, there have been many tears. As I said, I have good days and bad days, uh, or good moments and bad moments. And but even as she worries for family, she's working to spread awareness about her birth country's life and death fight for independence. Michelle Bernoro, CTV News, Surrey.